What's up, YouTube? Your boy back once again with another sport topic, and today we're going to switch it up from basketball. I know that's what this channel mostly been talking about, but that's due to the crazy offseason that basketball always gives us year after year. We're going to talk about some football right now, because football is my favorite sport, and I am a huge, diehard Houston Texan fan, and the day the Texans have reported the camp down at the Green Bar, they haven't started camp. They start camp tomorrow at the Green Bar. Just today, they're just reporting, but I'm going to let you guys know. For people to keep your eye on during the preseason, during training camp, for non-rookies. This is non-rookies. These are not rookies because I'm going to do one especially about the rookies later. But these are four people to keep your eye on that are non-rookies. The first person I'm going to give you, the first name I'm going to give you will be wide receiver Wendell Williams. He is a wide receiver. Um, we got him last year. He was undrafted free agent. He's actually the fastest person on the team. Like, as far as pure speed, like, if you line everybody up and run, he's the fastest person on the team. They had a race during OTAs between Wendell Williams, Akeem Hunt, and Will Filler, who was our first run draft pick last year. We drafted him because of speed. And Wendell Williams won that in a foot race. Now, last year, like I said, he was undrafted free agent. He he's, he calls himself Mr. Four, uh, 419 because I think he, he run an unofficial 419 in, in school. He went to a small college. So, um... That's one reason why he wasn't noticed. He's not a crisp route runner. And I don't know if he's going to make the team. Like, last year he was on the practice squad. And uh, he played late when we got all the injuries. He played. He made a couple plays. Like, I think actually he was, when Savage came out there and threw his first pass, I think his first pass was to Wendell Williams, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, he made some plays. He's not crisp as a route runner. I think if he does make the team, he'll be more on line of a special team. I, I, he'll be more of a long special team. It's going to be hard to make this team as receivers and backs. Not saying that we loaded at receivers and backs, but it's a lot of young talent there that do a lot of similar things and a lot to do different things. So I don't know any pure locks outside of Hopkins and Fuller as receivers and, and probably Braxton Miller. Them are only like pure locks. That, yeah, these guys are definitely going to be on the team. I don't see them getting cut. Anybody else is up for grabs. So, um, it might be hard for Wendell Williams to make the team, but I think he could do it, especially as a special teamer. And I would like to see his speed. So, watch him out in, during the preseason. The another name I'm going to give you it would be another fast guy. It would be Akeem Hunt. He's running back. Now, this is his second stint with the Texans. Both times, though. Well, last year, he was a, uh, we put him on the practice squad and we brought him on late. To in the middle, we brought him back. We didn't bring him on late. We brought him in the middle of the year. He he got brought on pretty early. Um, the year before, he was on I think New York's practice squad, and we brought him from New York's practice squad right before we made the playoffs. So he played in some. He played like a couple of games at the end of the 2015 campaign and the playoffs. And then last year, he had a good preseason, but we still ended up cutting him and sending him to the practice squad. And we brought him in like towards the middle of the season. He played a lot of minutes and a lot of time in the middle of the season, towards the end of the season, also in the playoffs. He's another fast guy. He's the second fastest person on the team. Because like that race I told you about a few minutes ago, he came in second. And he was right behind with the Williams. And he was clearly in front of uh, Will Filler. Um, he's, I, I really like Akeem Hunt. He's very, I think he's the most dynamic back. He's just small. He's a small and, st and he's height, he's short, and he's, uh, and he's real, he's real skinny. But I really, really like Akeem Hunt because he can do a lot of things. He's probably the most special back that we have. He can do a lot of stuff. He can do a lot of catching up the backfield, a lot of maneuvering, a lot of juking people in the box. He's a very special, special player. But it's going to be hard for him to make the team. It's, it, it, it's, it's going to be hard for him to make the team because we spent the draft pick last year on uh, on Tyler Irvin, and they kind of do the same thing. And we actually spent the draft pick on Tyler Irvin. So that's the team is going to be leaning a little bit towards Tyler Irvin because we spent that draft pick on him. But I really like Akeem Hunt, and I really think he'd definitely do well in the special teams. I actually think he'll do well outside of special teams as far as back, as far as using him as a third down scat back. I think he'll be great in that role. Another name to watch out for would be Robert Nelson, cornerback number 21. Um, another guy that we got two years ago off of a practice squad, um, off of Arizona, uh, off of Arizona's practice squad. He was on the Cardinals practice squad two years ago, and we brought him in. But we didn't put him on the roster. We just brought him in for a practice squad two years ago. And then last year, he was in camp, and we brought him in, and we cut him, put him on the practice squad. Then when we got the injuries with the corners, 
we had to play him. And uh, his first game was the Sunday night game against Colts and got picked. Now, he got burnt a lot last year. He did. He got burnt a lot last year. But in OTAs, the reports are that he looks like he's the best corner. They said he was locking up Hopkins during OTAs. And then he looked really good. He changed his number from um, 32 to 21. And, you know, that 21 Savage. You know, that same thing that A.J. Bouye did last year. A.J. Bouye was number 24 and was, was mostly poo-pooed on by the fans and the media. And he throws on 21. And in my opinion, he was deserving of the money that Jacksonville gave him. And I think that's actually the most foolish thing that the Texans did this offseason was not franchise him and it's cut off negotiations from any other team and to lock him in. I think that's going to be something that the Texans regret. I think they're going to, I think they're going to regret that. I really do. I know people say, oh, we got Kevin Johnson. But Kevin Johnson's only one corner. We're going to need somebody opposite. And when... Kareem, like they're talking about moving Kareem to safety, and Kareem's never really been a lockdown corner. So, and then, uh, um, and then, uh, and then J. Joe, J. Joe's is, is he J. Joe's on his last leg? We've been saying that for the past two years that J. Joe was on his last leg. Eventually, he's going to be on his last leg, and he's going to show up. And I think if you were locked up AJ, and then you still have Kevin Johnson, you have two young bucks at corners like Jacksonville does. And now we got to deal with AJ Bouye and Jalen Ramsey two two games of a season. And I think that's going to come back to bite the Texans in the ass. I really do. But they say Robert Nelson, and from what I've seen of Robert Nelson, he's actually shown improvement. And we're going to see that maybe he can be this year's AJ Bouye. Maybe he can be this uh, guy who can step in. Because remember, AJ Bouye, I'm saying this. AJ Bouye was the fourth corner last year until Kevin Johnson got hurt. And then when Kevin Johnson got hurt, he came in and played something. He was playing that nickel and it took snaps and took the starting position from um, Cream. So we're going to see if uh, Robert Nelson can do that. I'm not saying he's going to take anybody's uh, snaps and become a starter, but somebody to keep an eye on and watch. And the number one player to watch this offseason is wide receiver Jalen Strong. I'm a huge Jalen Strong fan. I have very, 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 very high hopes for him when we drafted him in the third round. I have very high hopes for him. It was reports before the draft that they had us taking him in the first round, and then we got him in the third round. So I have very hopes, high hopes for Jalen Strong. When Jalen Strong actually plays, like when he actually gets on the field, he produces, especially against the Colts. He scores, he scores important touchdowns. He makes important, it's like almost every catch he makes is a significant, important catch. It's a key first down or it's a touchdown that brings us back in the game or the game winning touchdown against the Colts or a, a, cut, a touchdown to cut the lead in half. Like he, like he, every time he's on the field, when he actually plays, he produces, he makes good win plays like the catch he made last year to set up the game winning field goal against the Colts in overtime. He actually makes plays when he actually plays. The problem is, it's getting him to play. He stays in uh um in Bill O'Brien's doghouse. I know he did his rookie year because he was overweight, because he was bigger than than the uh than the Texan organization wanted him to be. And I think last year he also got hurt. Like last year he, he got hurt. And then I actually want to give every single receiver a pass last year. Even even Will Fuller with the drops. I'm giving every receiver a pass last year because who they had quarterback. Let's be real. Hopkins had four starting quarterbacks the previous year and still caught 1,500 yards and still made a Pro Bowl and was ranked number 19th in the uh, in the players' top 100. He gets Oswald. He doesn't get hurt. He plays every single game. And he went from being 19th to out of the top 100. And the receivers, some of the receivers that they, they threw up, are really they better than Hopkins? No. It's because they just look better because who Hopkins had thrown in the ball. So, I want to give every receiver a pass last year. I want to wipe out last year from every receiver's record as far as, as talking about them because it's really going to be unfair. I need to see them under a new receiver, under a new quarterback. And I really want to watch, keep your eyes on Jalen Strong because even the preseason, when he plays, he produces. He actually produces just getting him to play. And he plays on the outside. He's more of an outside receiver than an inside receiver. And the way that Bill O'Brien coaches, he, co- he he likes to have one outside receiver and one inside receiver. He doesn't really like to have what he likes to call two X's. He has an X and a Y receiver. He don't like both his receivers to be X's. And he actually, and Jalen Strong plays the same type of receiver that um, Hopkins plays. Now, Will Fuller is the fast receiver, the sleek receiver to get by, make moves. Jalen Strong is more of a possession receiver, a big body, 
I'm going to block you out. I'm going to uh, box you like a rebound. And then basketball, I'm going to box you. I'm going to catch the pass like Hopkins do. So they, they symbol in receivers. So he's not going to get that same amount of snaps. That he's not going to take snaps away from Hopkins because Hopkins is the better receiver. And the way he and then Bill O'Brien wants to put Will Filler out there more because of the type of receiver Will Filler is. And the same thing with Braxton Miller. He wants to put Braxton Miller out there more because Braxton, Braxton Miller is the slot machine. He's the slot receiver. And that's something that um hot that, that strong is not. So it's more of a system problem than why he's not getting on the field. But when he gets on the field, he produces. So keep your eyes on him and keep your eyes on the whole team during this uh, preseason period. I'm going to throw out some more rookie names in my next video about the, about, um, the uh, preseason. I'm going to throw out some rookie videos and some guys who y'all need to watch from the rookies. So like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Comment below if you haven't. Click that bell to get more videos. If you disagree with me, if you can think of some other people that you want to put in this list that we should keep our eyes on, comment and let me know. If you disagree with me and say all these guys are trash and they need to get rid of all of them or cut them all, comment below. Let me know. Likes, dislike. Holla at your boy.